Um, hello everyone. I got the FMS um, A6M50 for Christmas today from my beautiful wife. And I'm going to unbox it for you today. Um, I have already opened the box once, but have just had a quick look. Nothing too interesting on the box. Some pictures and some specs. The skill level says um, expert pilots recommended. So Maybe not the right thing for me then. <laughs> okay, let's see what we've got. First cool thing is uh, an FMS. FMS cap. A manual, manual and assembly guide. Three blade propeller. It's in one piece. Spinner. Guess it would go together like this. A bomb. But as far as I know, it is not um, uh, droppable. It's just for the looks. rod I don't know what it's for it's uh, hollow some glue some screws and other parts that are don't know what to do with them yet. Horizontal stabilizer. The hinges seem to be very well made. Uh, but there is already, uh, I don't know if you can see, this side is a little smashed. But the finish seems to be very nice. Okay, the wing. Very nice level of detail. I don't know if you can see. All decals are already um, attached. No bubbles or something that I can see. I do not really like the, the white tips of the wings. Uh, maybe, probably, I'm going to paint them. Plastic flipped uh, spl uh, split flaps uh, with three plastic hinges. Retracts with separate uh, doors. But they, um, as far as I know, they don't um, move uh, um, electrically, so they're just 
mechanically with a small feather inside. <coughs> Fortunately, I can show you the, the wheels right now because um, it will be very interesting, uh, interesting to see how big they are. But I have to power it up to get them out. A very, very nice finish. Feels very rigid. So let's see if I can get um, off this uh, tape here without getting off the, the paint. Uh, no, no chance. But it has a, a, a hub for all the servo wires built into the wing. So only three servo wires coming out and up into the fuselage. They are labeled channel 5 gear, channel 1 aileron and channel 6 flaps. Looks very nice. And finally the fuselage itself The coil is made of plastic, but it feels very stiff and I don't like the shiny finish. But again here the level of detail is very nice. The exhausts, machine guns. The pilot has a little too pink face color. But at least he wears glasses, so you can see if he is uh, Asian or not. Vertical stabilizer. Very nicely made. The tail wheel is steerable. But it's very, very tiny, okay, and it's um, it barely moves. So I will have to maybe unscrew it a little or something. But it feels very rigid. I hope the paint <coughs> stays on better than on some other warbirds I have. But we will see that. Have a look inside. Very tight fit for the for the cockpit. It's stuck inside here at the front and has a magnet at the rear side. Ah, very nice for me, a Dean's connector, because I'm still on Dean's connectors and not um, XT60. A wooden plate for the battery. FMS 091 um, servos. Very nice fit for the wings. But to be honest, I'm a little surprised that it looks so smallish. I have 
for example, my um, Paxon Trojan is also about the same uh, wingspan and looks way, way bigger. And the uh, Focke Wolf, um, 1200 millimeter wingspan, looks yeah, almost double the size. <laughs> no, but yeah, looks a little smallish. But very rigid and nice. Very scale looking. So I have read the manual now and equipped myself with some screwdrivers and a receiver um, to put the, the wings on you need to um, screw in four bolts and two of them are underneath the retract so I have to um, buy up the receiver first and uh, put the, uh, the landing gear down so I can um, I screw these bolts in, bolts in. Okay, so I went ahead and um, hooked up my receiver and uh, bind it to the to the transmitter. So far, I've just connected the throttle and the rudder. And now I'm going to um, plug in the retracts as well. Ah. Very nice. But again here, this wheel is not really moving. This one moves nice. Um, the wheels are very small. I already feared that. Um, because I have to take off and land from, yeah, from a grass field. A very long grasp and so with all my planes that I have I had to um, put on bigger wheels and therefore widen the wheels, wheel wells and yeah not everything the um, gear doors are very thin plastic very very thin I guess the long screws go in at the rear and the smaller ones at the front. Okay, the fit is very nice. I guess I have found what the, um, the carbon rod is for. I'm pretty sure it will go in here. It's a very tight fit as it is. So I guess it would be, it would hold in place without even screwing screwing on or gluing on anything but of course as I have them I will put them in nice thing nothing is crooked the horizontal stabilizer aligns very nicely with the main wing Looks very cool so far. So far so good. So I'm going to plug in the, the elevator. Okay. And now I can go ahead and plug in the control horn. Good thing that I have um, uh, plugged in the 
the elevator channel before because with the servo in neutral position the elevator would have been way too um, up high so I will screw that down a little bit approximately like that and we have elevator control so I went ahead and set up the flaps on my transmitter but unfortunately um, it doesn't work perfectly because the most upward position that I can get is like this and there's uh, still a very wide gap as you can see um, but I really really like uh, slow servos for flaps just look way cooler and my my DX6i transmitter um, uh, can't control the servo speed uh, so I have to have slow servos but to correct this gap here I have to <coughs> open up these um, the ends of the, the servo rods and screw them out a little bit I don't know how much Ah, perfect on this side and then on the other side so and now as you can see the flaps close up seamlessly and open up just fine but I can possibly open up them a little more so I will increase the landing position to a position where the, the servos uh, stop screaming Perfect. Okay, now I'm happy with the flaps as well. Um, there's a little hexa hole in this little part here, and also uh, at the uh, back of the shaft. Fits right into it. Then comes on the propeller, uh, which is a 10.5 by 7 I don't think you can see this <laughs> but it says so here like that and I'm very happy to see that it uh, runs very smoothly I had some problems in the past with other other planes where the, the propeller wobbled like crazy ran straight out of the box okay so just for the video I will put on the machine guns as well So, this is what the FMS um, A6M50 1100mm uh, wingspan looks like when it's all finished. Assembly was uh, really, really simple. Um, it's a really great looking plane. The level of detail is amazing 
and it looks uh, at least now it looks very rigged there are a few problems that I have to deal with um, one of the landing gear wheels uh, is not spinning right and the rear wheel is also not spinning right and it came with um, with some smashed parts right of, uh, out of the box here and here but nothing too serious um, other than that everything looks very nice and seems to work fine so I show you all functions again the retracts landing gear seems to be very stable and works fine only the not really moving wheel here is a little <coughs> annoying but I will take care of that the flaps very nice looking um, split flaps plastic nicely made with plastic hinges and slow servos motor seems to have a lot of power um, ailerons and of course elevator and rudder oops rudder with the steerable tailwheel so yeah this is how she looks assembled and all finished up so thanks for watching and see you guys when i have my maiden flight bye bye